process of making a cigar. So as you see, this is kind of kind of uh, simple. This is blending. This is mixing or putting together different tobaccos. So each tobacco that you see that we are using to produce this specific cigar will have a different taste, a different strength, and a different aroma. It's basically coming from a different seed as you have different grapes or making mines. You have Cabernet, Merlot, Shiraz. Then you have different varieties of tobaccos. And the way we mix again or the way we put all them together, we get something mild, we get something medium or any complexity that we are behind, behind now. Uh, these guys, they work as a team, so he depends on the job that he's doing and he will be the same way depending on what he's doing with this side of the face. Uh, to guarantee consistency, so to have the exact same product all the time, uh, we need to know details from all the tobaccos. We use details as who's the grower, who's the person growing the tobacco and how they're growing also. And of course, which is the final blend that we do. And like that, we can do or we can produce the same cigar all, all the time. Three different parts to make a cigar. So each one will have a purpose, but at the end, mixing or putting all them together for a common one. Fillers, bindel, and clavel. The inside leaf are the fillers and the inside is what will give away the cigar, the strength and the aroma. So you smoke a cigar, how mild you feel it, or medium, or, or heavy, or full, is the inside and also is a combination or a blend of at least two different tobaccos. It is the way that we balance the, the cigar. But also, we can make a combination between three, between four, between five, and the quality will be or will stay the same. Just the final complexity that we get becomes different. Each one will go in one position. He knows that. Fully. So this is the way we know which is the percentage from each kind of. Then you will notice that as he's making the blend, he will take off the main stem and the reason why this goes off is because it has a lot of nicotine so we have got too much so this will give away the cigar a bitterness and put it away then after all that you see that we are wasting or that you could see that we are wasting all these and these pieces that we are cutting off we recover all that and we put different flavors, vanilla, chocolate and stuff like that and we do that kind. So if you smoke a vanilla it's because of the vanilla and not because of the tobaccos by themselves. Then you see that he rolls everything into this one which will give away the cigar a good combustion. This is the first part of the cigar, bonche or empuño, the name. Then this will go here. So cigar mold. For each size that we do, we have one of these, and then after it goes to the press. Behind you, you have a press, or there you have a press. In between 15 to 45 minutes will be the time that they will start the press, depending on the size, and twice. They do it once, and then any of them, they take everything out of the press, they will open all the molds. You see the way it is, one by one, 90 degrees and we press the cigar again. 20 minutes, 20 more minutes. 40 minutes, 40 more minutes. And then when it has the shape, so there you can see the difference between them, same stuff. So it will be when he does the final one, the wrapping leaf, this one. We give it to them, please. We have to hydrate that to make it more applicable. So only water, we put in it or we spray water in it one, two, three hours in advance. That's going to be the beautiness of the cigar and the main purpose of this one will be the taste of the cigar. So 60, 65% of the cigar no, taste you get out of that one. After that, there you see the finished product. The only thing is we have to age them because right now they're very humid and then the taste will have a bitterness and harshness. So aging will 
stabilize the humidity between 60 and 70 percent and also for bringing all the tobaccos together. So Don Lucas, the one that we produce because if it's another producer, they will do it on their own way and their own style will be 75 days from Don Lucas. After that is when the cigar will become ready if we even want to give you a cigar so you can, you can try. Very simple, all these guys they make it look simple. This table, for example, where we at today, their production is going to be 350. This table, if you take a look to the table next to them, they're making a different cigar, therefore they will have a different quarter for the day. This is about making quality and not the quantity. That's why this thing handmade. Any questions? Are these lighter, like the lighter outside, the mild? Uh, Which, how does it go? In general, in general, a light skin will be mild, in general, but not always. Because, remember, as I said, the strength of a cigar is the inside, not the outside. So if we do a blend of very strong tobaccos, we can wrap it with that, and the cigar will still a heavy tasting one because of the inside, not the, uh, not the outside. So the how, outside how do you know what you would buy? Like, how do you know the... How would you know? Well, I, I'll be assisting you all, all around the place. Okay. And if you're not a cigar smoker, you will, you will follow my recommendation. And if you are a, rec a cigar smoker, then you will have an idea about the different brands and how they do it and the different countries, for example, uh, basically the, the Dominicans are very mild in general, but they do everything, and then Nicaragua are like that. But if you don't smoke, then you have to follow my recommendations. Okay, so you but have- looking to... at, looking at, you look at this, and your idea, and I understand is that this is a, a very mild cigar, but as producers, we can do a combination of very strong tobacco so we can wrap it in a very light skin one and then it's gonna be a full body see that? Mm -hmm. then this is the final packaging which is done by hand also Basically here, what he does, so he puts the rinse, is even done by, by hand, then each cigar becomes uh, wrapped individually to protect the freshness and the aromas, and then we do, for example, wooden boxes, we do bundles, and we do cardboard boxes also. So these are the final presentations for the Don Lucas. 